leaves granted. Ladies first. Thanks. Eventually, I might get to speak. Thank you. I remember that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to rise to contribute on behalf of the Greens to this petition debate and acknowledge my Greens colleague Jamie Parker, who's here in the chamber, and my Greens colleague Tamara Smith, the member for Ballina, and say that the Greens are committed to housing as a human right. We recognise that we should be addressing the issue of housing and approaching the issue of housing in the same way that we do healthcare, in the same way that we do other services, which is to recognise that all people have the right to have a place to call home and all people have the right to be able to live somewhere where they call home. And what we recognise is that we have seen successive New South Wales governments here, we've had six years of this one, we had 16 years of this one, who all talk now about their willingness to address the housing affordability crisis, but let's put it in perspective. There's been a while that any of them could have acted, and can I say that it is a credit to the community who have got this petition debate here today and who have pushed on the need for inclusion rezoning and setting of a percentage of targets. I can put our percentage out there as 30 per cent, but what you're seeing here is a bidding war on the percentage, and that is a true sign of a community campaign that is moving in the right direction, because people are now talking about how much of a percent they can offer here, how much of a percent they can offer here, and what they have accepted is that your commitment to the idea of seeing affordable housing targets set in new developments is actually a way to address the housing affordability crisis. So a massive credit to the St Vincent de Paul Society, to the Sydney Alliance and to all of the different groups that have been pushing for those targets. It is because of your strong community campaign that we now see this percentage bidding war happening and you must continue those efforts and can I say that the Greens will stand with you to make sure that whoever is in government will take action to make sure that we do see these target, targets for, delivered for affordable housing. It would be remiss of us to be talking about affordable housing in this place if we did not acknowledge the reality of the tents just outside at the top of Martin Place. It is unacceptable that we have seen this week people come into this chamber, in this government, that have the ability to act to address homelessness. It is shameful that they have walked past that and are meeting with police to move people on as opposed to actually providing them with housing first and affordable housing that they need. Those people need to be offered permanent housing and they need to be offered community support and social support services. I am sure everybody in the gallery would agree that that is the case and it is shameful that this government has sat here all week and failed to act on the blight that is sitting out there, not because the people shouldn't be allowed to protest out there and sleep rough out there if they have no choice, but because this government has failed to act to address homelessness and addressing housing affordability is a key way that we reduce homelessness in our city. Time and that is